He is joining us. General, thanks for joining us. As you know, the U.S. and its allies estimate thousands of Russian troops have already been killed in Ukraine so far. The high end of these estimates, uh, seven to 10,000 in just, what, three weeks of fighting. Those are incredible numbers. What does that say to you, General, about Russia's ability to wage this war? Well, what I'd say, well, first of all, is I think those numbers are exceedingly conservative. I think their uh, casualties, not only they're killed in actions, but they're uh, Russians who have surrendered, who have deserted their equipment is much higher than that. Not, not, you know, focusing on a body count or anything like that, but we are seeing a campaign where the Russian military was not prepared to conduct this kind of conventional operation their soldiers have run away from the fight, and the only thing left is some of the horrific and inhumane ways that Russia is using artillery and missile and rocket strikes to uh, terrorize the civilians of, of the great nation of Ukraine. The, the Pentagon says Russian forces haven't gotten any closer to Kiev, the capital, but, but they are moving long-range artillery closer and closer. What does that tell you? Yeah, that, that's what concerns me. Uh, we have said for several days now, in fact, over a week, that uh, that that force outside of, to the north and northwest and east of Kiev is, quote unquote, stalled. That tells me that they're trying to do something to get that force regenerated and moving again. And, and as you know, Wolf, I've said from the very beginning, their logistics tail is dysfunctional. Their maneuver and their training and their leadership and their force is unbelievably bad. So it tells me that they can't get their soldiers on the ground to move forward and conduct the missions that they want them to do. So again, they're going to probably bring into Kiev, unfortunately, the same kind of weapon systems that are long range killers like they've done in places like Kharkiv and, and Mariupol. General Hurtling, uh, thanks so much for joining us. Pleasure, Wolf. Thank you.